Imagine emerging from a long battle against depression with a children's story where light conquers the darkness. 20 years ago today, that is just what one J.K. Rowling did as she imagined the wizarding world of Harry Potter, the hero who lived in a cupboard under the stairs, grew year by year with an avid audience who read his adventures in 68 languages. Rowling's universe saw epic battles between good and evil as her protagonists, Harry, Ron and Hermione, fought intolerance and hatred with openness, selling hundreds of millions of books and seating millions of behinds in theaters to watch eight wildly successful Potter films. There are Potter Universe spin-offs, a play, theme parks, and more, all making the once destitute single mother the world's first billionaire author. Speaking to a BBC children's show when the first book, The Philosopher's Stone, hit the shelves Back in 1997, Rowling was sitting in the Edinburgh Cafe where she had conjured Harry up. The way I arrived at writing a book was that I've been writing for years and years and years since I was very young, outside school and so on. And um, I think you need to practice. You need to practice and work out what, was, what worked and what didn't work and keep going and probably start by writing about things you know about. Well, it certainly worked. And in two weeks, tune in for a special program here, my exclusive interview with J.K. Rowling, how she conjured Harry Potter's magic spell Lumos into her children's charity of the same name. That and much more from J.K. Rowling.